Welcome to the Success Sensei Podcast for anyone interested in success, happiness, and balance. We'll teach you how to be a black belt at life. And now, your host, former professional fighter, multiple world champion, entrepreneur, and investor, Robert Devan. Bowing in, this is Roundhouse Rob, the success sensei, helping you to win at life one kick and punch at a time. Today I'm talking about just one positive win could transform your life. And this is episode 212. Welcome to the starting round. Hands up. It's the starting round on the Success Sensei podcast. Just one positive win could transform your life. No matter where you're at, you could, if you could imagine you received just one piece of good news that could completely and totally change your life. Now, I'm not telling you what that needs to be or what it is. You should know that based on your own goals. So basically, what is it? It's obviously up to you. What is it that if you got, say, a call to tell you that something seriously positive has happened to you or for you. Um, what is that? What is that thing that you could work towards? What is it that could completely change your life with just one phone call? Because you do need to change to shape your goals around that and, and put together some actionable steps. So, I mean, obviously we live for that good news. You want to plan for it. But you definitely want to know what it could be because it could be lots of different stuff. So it doesn't matter where you're at. It doesn't matter how you're feeling. It doesn't matter whether you're you feel you're losing, whether you feel you're winning, whether you're just sometimes losing or, or, or winning and you're in the middle. If there was one call that could be made to you, at one piece of news that could absolutely uh, to completely change and transform your life what would it be i'll give you a couple of examples i suppose so you understand where i'm getting to and um, so for example all of these are great because they're all they're all absolutely super things to think about and fantasize about and they're very very positive so say for example it could have been, it could be you could get a call to say that you've landed the most lucrative deal or contract of your life oh, that would get you pretty happy that would be a very very good start um, it could be that you ha have you know been contacted because and been told that you've gotten great news that you're selling your business for an absolute massive amount of money and um, maybe you know if you don't have your own business it could be that you're you're being offered your dream job it could be meeting your life partner and um, the per perfect person that rounds you off for the best of your life and brings out the best in you and vice versa it could be you receive a call from a top Hollywood producer who wants you to be in a starring role. So Steven Spielberg, if you're listening to this episode, um, feel free to hit me up anytime. Um, plus, oh, are they are they uh, auditioning for the new James Bond, or is that a dumb deal? Well, I'm here. If you if you want to if you want someone to audition, I'm here. Let me know. It could be a major brand contacting you to be their brand ambassador. Now, I don't care how they got to that point. We're just we're just imagining this particular point. Um, it could be winning a massive amount of money, whether it be lottery, whether it be gambling. I don't care. But just imagine you got the message, you got the call that you have won a life changing amount of money. Now, all of those, the above um, and whatever other ones that you can come up with in your mind, hopefully you're relating one to yourself that could completely change your, your life um, and the life of your family and your loved ones. But hopefully one thing that you're going to discover is all of those require action on your part. Yes, they do, including, by the way, winning a massive amount of money. You're going to actually have to do something to go and purchase that. Um, yeah, well, if somebody purchases it for you, I guess you had to have been nice to them for years in the first place for them to have bought you a lottery card. But also to go in and to spend your money and to earn the money, to spend the money, to buy the card, to go into the shop, there's still actionable steps. And obviously the more action you take, the more lottery cards you win. No, I'm not promoting winning lotteries. I'm just trying to tell you that even the one that seems like it's got the least amount of actionable steps still can have a lot of actionable steps involved. So therefore, the other more complicated ones 
should have a lot of things that you could be and should be doing. Um, so as I said, the more action, the greater your chances of reeling in the one large piece of life changing news. So the more you try, the greater your chances of, of getting one of these life changing uh, calls. So when you try your best, you always have a puncher's chance. What's a puncher's chance? Well, every underdog um, in boxing has a puncher's chance. So you can still win if you land a decent punch. You just need to land that good punch. One good punch is all it takes to win a fight. Um, so that's what you need to do when you're fighting in life or business, um, your career, your goals. You just need to land one good shot out of all the hardship that you face, all you need to do is land one decent shot. So to increase your odds, basically attempt more things. Now what I mean by that is maybe more areas, totally different areas, but within each area as well, maybe go a little bit deeper and work a little bit harder. So we're not saying that there's no hard work with any of this. This shouldn't just be fantasy. You should be actually working hard with the hope that you're going to reel in or land one of these large life-changing um, pieces of news. It would be lovely, lovely start to the day, lovely start to the, to the month, to the, to the year, to the rest of your life. So a word of warning is that the more that you do and the more, the more hardship that you can potentially face, um, but it is risk versus reward. So you can imagine if you span several different industries, you will have several different types of competitors. So you're going to have more competitors than most who just specialize in the one area. So the more things that you try to conquer, the more things you try to achieve, yeah, I suppose technically the more haters that you could have. Also, the more hardship in each one of those areas. But you're increasing your odds. The more you do across the board, the more your chances you have of landing a large life changing um, uh, piece of news. So you can imagine, say for example, that you felt totally beaten up, mentally, physically, and emotionally wrecked and ready to give up. And then just imagine you received that life changing call. You might compose yourself till you put down that phone, but I can guarantee you your life will have changed. You would be hopping around like a crazy rabbit um, with the excitement and, and with the achievement. So keep that in mind now, on your hard days that all it takes is just one positive win to transform your life. Now, the truth is that there actually are lots of these elated um, moments of, of, you know, high achievement throughout life. Yeah, they might be on a smaller scale to the one positive, the one massive one that, that we were talking about. But all of the smaller ones added up together can be life changing. And they basically are what makes what you're doing worthwhile. Like the yin and yang symbol, you can't have the amazing moments without putting in the hard moments. And this is what it is to be an entrepreneur or an investor or a goal oriented person. Maybe it's going to happen for you today. Maybe it'll happen tomorrow. But keep on pushing and growing and learning. And I wish you all the best. Thank you for listening. I'm Roundhouse Rob, the success sensei. Life is a fight you can enjoy and win. Bowing out. This has been the Success Sensei, fighting the winning fight. So add us, subscribe, like, and comment. Keep those hands up and keep moving forward.